Hey everybody, how's it going? Uh, Dan from Akai here, and uh, if you come to our booth, 6700, and you come to the software section, we have all the software set up over here for all of our companies, and it's obviously before the show, uh, Dr. Ford came down here to get his uh, iPhone video, but uh, yeah, if you come over here, the MPC Renaissance 1.8 beta is here, uh, we're shooting for a February release. So I won't play for you guys because I know, you know, like I said, I don't make the beats, I make the machines. So I uh, want to show you a couple of new things. So you want to come closer? Um, so right now, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> yeah, right now, if you go to uh, if you go to a new track, I'll go fresh track here, and I will give us a plugin, and we'll pick. Uh, I don't know. Let's do something like let's do FM8 real quick. Select, and so now you know I got an FM8 plugin here, default plugin. I'm bank E. You can kind of play it chromatically with the pads. Of course, you guys all know this. We've been doing this for forever. If you're on pad A, it's like super low. You can't even hear it. What we've done now is if you hit pad assign while you're in a key group or you're in a uh, plugin, you go pad assign, and now you can play. Uh, you can, play, you can play chords, that's a, uh, one through five, seven, one through five, or you can just play individual notes. And you can set your scale. Right now, if somebody's playing in an E flamenco scale, we can set that to the, uh, we'll say blues, pentatonics. Your root notes are all the red keys. So now if you do a, a chord, and if you want to do a variation of that chord, hold shift. So, so that's pretty cool. Um, we also now have, go back to main, we'll go back to a drum program. Uh, if you go to our new program edit, you can see, uh, you can see on here on the screen and on the here, uh, we have four channel, uh, four pads under samples. What we're doing now is we're gonna let you chop non-destructively and assign pads automatically, or assign uh, slices automatically to the pads. You can set an offset, so what you can do is you can get nice flams. Um, you can kind of manually re-chop beats as you go. Um, and it's all non-destructive, um, and so that's really fun. And uh, third feature, which is really awesome, um, I don't have any sources here, but if you go to sample record, we have a new looper. Uh, in here, we got sampler and looper. Okay, and what this does is, you can set your, you can set your, it follows the bars. And what you can do is, you can sit there and say like, okay, I want to play. Like, let's say you're a bass player, you can start playing a bass riff, and then you can loop around, add to it, and it all, it's all done on one sample. Um, and it, it all syncs to everything. You can assign it to a pad real quick. Um, it's a lot of fun, actually. Uh, if you guys watched the previous video. Um, that we did in the UK office. Uh, Jeff did a little guitar thing, which was really sweet. Um, so come check that out. Other cool things you can do, this is actually fun. This is probably something you want to get to the computer screen for. Um, let's say I got this, got that kick right there. Um, I can take the mouse and just drag it right onto one of my cue links. So let's say I want this cue link here to do tuning. I can just go. So links are much easier to assign you can change that to whatever you want right now it, it, it defaults to tuning because that's our favorite um, and uh, yeah this uh, 1.8 um, we now allow you officially to be able to put uh, MPC 3000 60 uh, the SP 12 sound SP 1200 sounds on individual inserts um, I know people were doing that previously but now it's you know um, now it's tested and official and that's good um, but yeah uh, definitely come check it out there's other things I'm those things I'm probably glossing over or forgetting um, but yeah check it out and it's a lot of fun Dr. Ford will give you a personal tour <laughs> any cool uh, things you can sneak us about the horizon for MPC 1.9 2.0 anything like that um, you know it's uh, I, I really appreciate you guys have stuck with us because um, I really feel like you know we're at a really good place right now and we're at a place where um, you know Regardless of competition, regardless of any other other companies, we're really blazing our own path, making sure that the MPC is known for sampling. We're gonna make sure that in audio and like processing and things like that, we wanna make sure that that's sort of taken to the next level. So um, 
1.8 is going to be great, 1.9 will be even better. Uh, I can't really spoil what's coming, but um, I think you guys will be excited. Thank you very much. Thanks.